What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of GTA Online. Today we have a brand new supercar to check out here in Los Santos and I could not be more excited. So here we go guys, we're going to open up our web browser, we're going to drop it down to Legendary Motorsport and check this thing out. 2.375 million dollars. This thing is no joke, it's very very expensive. But uh, this is the Ocelot XA21. To those of you who argued that the supercar is dead and hybrid tech was just a fad, the XA21 would like a word as soon as it's done banging your mom. All right, well, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty aggressive description there, but we're gonna see what this thing's all about. I've already ordered one of these things in the, uh, the bright lime green, which I think is gonna be kind of exciting. We'll see what that looks like. And um, we're gonna head up to our garage and let's go see, uh, let's go see our new addition. This thing is gonna be nuts, boys. I'm so excited for it. Oh man, we're gonna be going up to the third level. This is gonna be our first edition on the third level of our first garage. We have three garages, that's insane. But there it is over there in the corner. Holy cow. I am so excited right now. All right, so this is a crazy mashup of a bunch of different cars. So mainly I'm seeing the Jaguar CX-75. It's a little bit lesser known car. Not everybody really knows what that thing is. I don't know if it was a prototype or if it's an actual like full-on production vehicle. I also kind of see the Maserati Gran Turismo in the front. You guys kind of see with like the grill and the, the headlights. It's kind of got a, a Maserati vibe to it. In the back, what do we have here in the back? Honestly, I don't know, man. That It kind of looks like Aston Martin-esque in a sense. I don't know. This it, It's definitely, it's not modeled after one car. Like a lot of cars in GTA are like, specifically modeled after one car. This one I feel like takes a lot of different pieces and components of multiple cars, but um, I'm excited to see what it has to offer. I mean, two, over $2 million. This thing better be freaking insane. So we're gonna see what this is like, just off the rip here, just bass. It's got a very, a very deep throaty gargly sound to it. Like a, almost like a muscle car in a sense. You hear that? It doesn't have like that high supercar whine. It's got that deep, like kind of just getting over a sickness, got a little bit of phlegm in your throat type sound, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know, it, it sounds pretty good though. It's fast, you guys can see it's got that retractable wing, so it starts off down, and then when you get up to speed, it pops up, which is pretty sick. I'm not trying to get this thing blown up by that guy out there in the street. So we're gonna head back up top, we're gonna head in our garage. And um, we're gonna put this thing, dude, this is insane. I like how the interior of the wheels kind of matches the outside of the car. I don't know, man, this is just, it's different than any, it's different than any other car that we've had in this game. It's not really modeled after one thing. I definitely mostly see Jaguar in it though. All right, so we're gonna go back to our office garage one. And let's customize this thing up. Man, I don't, I honestly, I'm, I'm kind of, it's giving me a hard time. I can't really make out exactly what they're going for here, but I definitely see that CX-75 Jaguar in it. So that's, um, that's going to be my main, my main guess there. All right. So here we go. We're going to go through as we always do. We're going to set up the, uh, the definites. So we're going to go armors, full armor, full brakes, um, engine tunes, full engine. We're going to go back and customize that as well. Going to come through here, uh, race. Competition suspension, race transmission, turbo, wheels are good, windows we'll leave for now. All right, cool. So now we can get into the customization. This is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start off with bumpers, front bumpers. What do we have here? Primary painted, secondary painted, carbon extender, sports splitter. Hmm. I kind of like the splitters, honestly. The splitters look pretty sick. That one I almost feel like is too much. Honestly, I feel like the sports splitter is just enough, but it's not too much. So I think we're gonna go with that. Rear diffuser, what should we go with here? Ooh, the stock is actually pretty sick. Remove it, nah. Secondary painted lip. Hmm. Dude, I think I'm gonna keep it stock. I like the stock look there, that looks pretty sick. All right, cool, so engine, engine block. Let's go ahead and customize this so we can completely, ooh, wow. So how much do we see, when it's closed, you just kinda see like the front, the front half of it. So we could paint it green to match the car and then look at that. Dude, that actually looks pretty sick. I kind of like that. I think I'm gonna go with that. And the engine cover. What should we go with the cover? Oh, we can really customize this. Hmm. I like the vents. What does that have stock? It has the vents stock. 
I definitely want the vents. I kind of like the black with the vents. I think that looks pretty good right there. Secondary square vented arrow. All right, sounds good to me. Exhaust. Holy cow, dude, you could put a potato in those things. Those are enormous. What in the world? Dude, I, I think I have to go with the titanium big bore just for the fact of how big, the, ooh, the, the triple's pretty cool as well. We've also got quad. I kinda wanna go with the titanium. That's the stock exhaust right there. What in the, I'm gonna go with the titanium big bore. Cause that's just so insane. It looks like it's literally like a, an F-18 fighter getting ready to take off, all right. Grill, what should we go with here? Honestly, I kinda like the stock. I don't wanna get, uh, get too crazy here. Combined carbon grill. The stock looks pretty good. It's got that Maserati stock look. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Mazas are nice, they look really nice. All right, so for a hood, got a ton of different vented options here. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Invert air convection hood. I like that one as well. I don't like the full carbon, but I do like a little bit of carbon in there. I think that looks pretty sexy, dude. All right, so that looks good to me. We'll go ahead and put Xenons on there. Neon layout, we're gonna do front, back, and sides, and then the color, lime green. I'm gonna keep this one lime green just because I really like the lime green color. We've gotta finish up all of our stunt jumps to be able to, to unlock it so we can use it normally. Um, I'll probably black out the mirrors, carbon up the mirrors. I always feel like that looks better for sure. The half and half is actually kind of cool, but I feel like the carbon is, is the way to go there. All right, so we've got the mirrors down. What else do we have here? Plates. Definitely want to black out that plate. Black and yellow. Respray. Hmm. Trim color. Should we respray the trim? I mean, we're not, we're not, oh, we can make it lime green. Dude, should we make it a lime green interior? I'm down, dude. Whatever. Why not? This is going to be the freaking optic mobile. What in the world? Vortex generators? What is that? Carbon vortex generators, why not? All right, so for skirts, definitely gonna want something uh, a little thick here, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna say these. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get too crazy with like the big lips and stuff. I mean, those don't look bad, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it nice and classy. We're gonna keep these clean lines. So that looks good to me. We gotta get the suspension, turbo wheels. Ooh, I feel like you can't change the wheels here. You can't change the wheel color on the stock wheels. And if we change it to some sort of like a a tuner wheel, it's just, dude, it's, it's, it's not gonna look as good. Those stock wheels are what kind of make this car unique. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the stock wheels. That works for me. Tires, um, go ahead and make them bulletproof. Technology and budget we'll, uh, we'll give it green smoke for 16K. That's a ridiculous amount. Should we black out the windows? Limo it up? Dude, this thing looks pretty mean. One thing I will say that honestly this thing could probably look pretty badass with is a big spoiler. I just kind of feel like the back ends, I don't know, it just kind of drops off with nothing there. So I feel like a big spoiler would work, but it does have that spoiler that comes out. So we can't, uh, we can't forget about that. All right, is that everything? That's everything. All right, guys. Let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, exit to grounds. Dude, this thing looks pretty mean. And I'm excited because it's a supercar. We've had so many vehicles recently Really cool vehicles, I've been excited about them, but some of them we haven't even been able to race, which is BS. And then other ones aren't supercars, so you, it's hard to get into races to actually use them. Whereas this one, we can join any stunt race, and we're gonna be able to use it. Dude, it feels good. It's very fast, and it's very light. It's very agile, which is good, but I also feel like this thing is gonna be bullied a little bit when it comes to like, trading paint and running into people it's got really good brakes for sure i don't know dude this thing's gonna give uh this is gonna give some of the other fast supercars a run for their money i think all right i say let's go for it so we're just gonna go ahead and hop in here open up our phone join a random uh random stunt series and i'll see you guys in there the downtown loop baby here we go it's night time our neons are shining. Dude, this is such a good looking car. I love those huge exhausts in the back. It's so excessive, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's pretty nuts. All right, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Our first race with this bad boy. 
I'm honestly very confident in its speed. I feel like its speed is, is pretty solid. Do we not have uh, drafting on for this race? I guess we don't have drafting on, so. We're gonna have to get real, real sweaty with it, I guess. Oh, look at this. We're beating out the X80 in speed, I'm pretty sure. We were catching up to it. That's for sure. We're like neck and neck here, bro. Look at that. We're faster than the X80 Proto. Are you kidding me, dude? Woo! Yes, sir. Freaking speed demon, bro. This thing is so good. It better be good for two point whatever million dollars, honestly. I'd be pissed if it wasn't. All right, we're just gonna stay in first here. Since we don't have drafting or anything on, I mean, this is, I feel like this is gonna kind of be slight work, to be honest. If we're already out ahead of these guys, and I haven't even had a good line. As long as we don't run into anybody. I don't know what third place is doing right now. Oh, baby. These are always a bit, a bit sketchy. We made it through. Woo! Gained a little ground there. Dude, this is going spectacularly well. Two point whatever million dollars well spent. If you're looking for that slight half second edge in a race, this is <laughs> this is where you just spend your two point whatever. Two point, was it 375, 735? I think it was 375. 2.375 million. I have no clue how he kind of just caught up to us a little bit there. That was weird. Let's just keep a solid line through here. Always stay on the inside. Dude, this is a little bit nerve wracking. I kind of like that there's no drafting. It makes it a little bit more intense. We just gotta keep a nice straight solid line all the way through. Don't mess up at all and we should be okay. I don't even know, if, does he have ketchup on? He might have ketchup on. If ketchup is on and we're still beating him, that's going to be impressive. Smooth landing. Ready for the next loop. Beautiful. Get to the outside here. Cut back to the inside. Uh, stay to the inside. Not bad. He's rubbing the walls and stuff. I don't know what he's doing back there. I don't know what that guy's doing in particular. All right, boys. It's the final little section. I mean, this this one was just pure racing. This was not any other tomfoolery. Nothing, uh, nothing sketchy. No drafting, spinning each other out, running into each other, anything like that. This was just pure white knuckle, rubber on concrete racing. And this car absolutely killed it. I think this is where this car is going to shine. I think it's not going to shine in something where you actually have to have a little bit of contact. I'm worried about the contact section of racing. Oh man, that guy really messed up back there. All right, so we're going to take first place in our first race. I'm happy with that. Oh, what the heck? How many? I assumed it was going to be two laps. It's three laps. All right. Well, I'm still pretty confident we're going to take first place. There should be no issue. We're gonna have to get a crazy one that has a lot of contact after this to see how that goes. We only had three guys in this lobby. This thing is just, I don't know. It feels good. All right, I'm gonna see you guys in the next race. This one is all but over. I'll let you guys know if something horrible happens and I end up choking, but we should win this no problem. See you guys there. And we're off, baby. This one should be a little bit more interesting. I'm not really sure what to expect, but this is one of those races where it's like a uh, a weekly updated race. And um, we're hosting, so we have like everything on, the catch-up, the drafting, everything like that. Okay, well, we're all, we're all gonna run into each other. That's cool with me. But uh, I'm pretty sure I saw some, some wall riding going on in the... Um, the preview screen, I also just saw that pink X80 try to take us out. Oh, uh, no, it's not, a, it's not an X80. I don't know what it is, but it was a, the, the pink car. We don't trust him. We're not going to trust him. Let's 
um, let's see what we can do here, boys. We got a nice little lead. Ooh. All right, we're gonna take a right here. We've got three laps. This is a long race. Three laps was the uh, the suggested. It did suggest not to have um, not to have what's it called contact on, but of course I turned that on. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We almost flew off it into the checkpoint. We almost flew off it into the checkpoint. How did we not hit that? This is a really awkward wall ride because it like, it ramps up here. Dude, it... Where's the checkpoint at? Why would it ramp up like that? You guys see how it like, it, it like curves up? That doesn't make any sense to me. What the fudge, dude? This is... <laughs> Why do we have three laps of this? This is insane. It goes like up and down as you're trying to stay on the wall. And it's so tight that you can't even see what's happening next. That's what she said. Got it. I'll take it. Whatever, dude. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna rip my controller out of the freaking thing. All right, we're in the second place. I'll take second place. Ooh, somebody else just got it too. All right. Well, dude, this is this is like next level difficulty, man. Holy cow. Nice. Look at that. Got him with the little spin out. I'll take it. This is insane. You can't see what's coming next. So it's like the first one goes up and the second one goes down. And I think the third one goes up. So we're going to have to remember that this next time. Hopefully... Hopefully he hasn't hit the second wall run yet. I don't think he has. I think he's about to start it. So if we can come up clutch and get the second wall run quickly, we might be able to come back here. <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting that at all. I saw like a little wall run action in the preview image. So I was like, oh, this place, this looks kind of cool. It's going to be interesting. I didn't know it was going to be a freaking race from hell. Knocked him off. Woo! Yes, sir! That's how we do, baby. Let's just keep it rolling. All right, lap three. Coming in clutch. I'm cool, calm, and collected. Let's see if we can finish this out. Looks like somebody else may have actually hit it. It's not as hard as I expected. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's difficult, but if you stay in the middle, you're going to be okay. I'm thinking about letting off the gas a little bit. I feel like when you're full speed the entire way through, that's what makes it more difficult, just because you have to react quicker to the turns. But um, that one felt good. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to talk about it yet. I'm a little bit nervous that this guy behind us. Oh, two people have hit it now. Okay. So, we're guaranteed to win if we can just knock it out right here. If we can't knock it out right here, we're gonna be in trouble. Potentially. Whoa, dude, it's so hard. They both just messed up right there. Both of them just messed up. All right, we're still in this. Stay high enough, but not too high. Whoa, we got it, baby. Whoa, keep it together. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, dude. That was all the way down to the very end. Very, very close. Is anybody else close to finishing here? Dude, that was insane. Looks like everybody else is failing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back out. We're gonna play one more. We're two for two so far today, boys. This car, I'm feeling it, man. This is good stuff.
I'm gonna see you guys in the third race. All right, guys, here we go. This is it. This is the final race. We've got a couple from the squad, from the crew in this race. A shout out to my dudes. Appreciate you guys being here and joining up. And um, this is the uh, the Maze Bank Raceway. So I think this is gonna be a little bit more legit racetrack type style. I feel like these are starting to become more and more popular. I see tons of these on the um, the social club, and I see a lot of people inviting me to like. Dega, like Talladega, like straight up speedways and stuff, which is pretty sick. So, if you guys want to see more of like actual, not crazy stunt racing and more racing like this, I'm totally down to do it. Guy in that Chiron back there got a little bit aggressive on that first turn. He hit the wall. He paid the ultimate price for it. All right, we're looking, we're looking pretty good so far. Yeah, this is kind of cool though. I feel like I'm in like you know an F1 race. We're racing at Monaco, boys. See what we can do. I'm actually really excited for the F1 video game to come out. I've never played an F1 game before. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Like I was talking to Junior about it, and he said it was really, really good. He was looking forward to it, so I'm gonna pick that up, get it on the simulator. It's gonna be legit, dude. Right. So, holy cow, this is gonna be a long race, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's not that bad. We're back to the start. We're on a lap two. Dude, we are straight. Absolutely murking these guys. Holy cow. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this one a win. And I'm gonna wait for him. We're gonna chalk that one up as a win. Dude, we were like 15 seconds ahead of him already. So I'm gonna, oh man, dude, this is rough. Look at that green tire smoke. Let's go, baby. Woo! <laughs> I'm trying to wait for them. <laughs> They're just plowing into each other, dude. That blue guy doesn't know what a break is. He's like, never lift. Never lift, bro. All right. Let's see. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm really impressed with this. We'll see what we can do when we've got people drafting and stuff. Oh. Dude, are you kidding me? That is, uh, blue is my favorite. Whichever one of you guys has the red, white, and blue car, Jade Matic Arena or Ozzy the Name, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for being cool. Oh, dude, that was amazing. I ca okay, what I'm gonna do here, you guys ready for this? We're gonna race this last lap legit. We're gonna try to go as fast as we can, and we're gonna hit that ramp at the end. If we think we can still potentially win. You guys down? We're gonna hit that huge ramp that sends you like way super. How did that even just happen? This shouldn't be a GTA race. He wasn't even close to me. What's happening? Is this like a, a Mario Party or Mario Kart blue shell that just takes out the first place driver? Dude, that was crazy. All right, there's no way we're gonna win this race if we hit this jump, but we're gonna hit it anyway, just for fun. Just to say we did. Ooh, he just spun out. Actually, I don't know, it might be close. I don't know where these explosions are coming from. I really don't. I, I have no clue what's going on. Beyond me. Alright, here we go, boys. Tell me we're gonna land in the in the checkpoint. Oh my god, no way, dude. That was so sick. What a way to end off an episode. We just got three straight wins. Ended with a crazy jumping flip into the, the finish line. Dude, that was amazing. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on the video for style points. Thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, I'm super impressed with this car. If you guys have 2.3 million laying around, I feel like recently I've given a lot of bad reviews on cars and I've said, eh, it's not really worth it. I think this thing's pretty worth it. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.